Hello, it's Chris. I've just set the camera up so you can do a little quality assurance test with me. I've just finished this bag. I just had a couple of little things I had to do, so I had to add the strap strap ends on there. Um, so, and I was just polishing her up, and I thought, well, why not show you a look at the bag? And this is what I do. When I'm finished a bag so that I can just check over everything I've got like a um, leather polishing cloth so it's got some leather polish sealer on there like a leather protector so I'm just going through now and just checking that like I've trimmed all my threads I haven't missed anything I, I have been known before to forget to close the bottom seam in a zipper pocket if I've turned it through and <laughs> little things like that so I always like to check so this is what I'm doing with this bag here so this is all leather absolutely beautiful uh, was a difficult sew for me I got a leather skiving machine in the back there um, but because it's a textured leather it made it more difficult to be able to like skive and thin the edges where I'm sewing the leather so yeah um this is the finished bag I hope my customer loves it so my customer chose this leather I took her on a we met at the leather shop and we did a shopping trip together we purchased a few leather hides for her so this is one of the bags that I've made for her so she hasn't seen it yet so I hope she's super excited when she sees it so this is the front so I'm just making sure here like when I'm looking at the front that like I haven't got any markings from where I've placed like marks on the leather so I use a leather pen yeah I just get the refills they come in a pack of a hundred and you can make marks on the leather and it will wipe off with like moisture so you just have a damp cloth and then you can remove the marks so I've um just going through making sure that there's no markings like here when I've placed this here I, I put marks and that just to make sure that when I attached my logo piece so that it was lined up and it was like in the center and straight and that there so there's my logo I've um, used heat transfer vinyl on a piece of leather so I did that first and then I've stitched that on and even my logo has the texture of the leather showing through it uh, absolutely beautiful we've got straps through here and then I've added the rivets these rivets here are more like decorative purposes and then these here are what secures the straps there in place with the straps these are two pieces of leather that I've joined together and then I've done an edge coat paint that I married up the color with and then I've riveted those on there and added the strap connectors so if these get screwed in and before I screw them in I also adhere them in just for the extra protection so I like to just make sure there's no residue of adhesive or anything like that there just making sure there's no marks because I make place marks as to where I'm gonna line them up to I place marks for where I'm putting the rivets I place marks like on this side well if the marks get hidden up with the rivets anyway but I just like to make sure that there's no markings left on the underside so here there's just like a little bit of adhesive that's attached itself onto there I've just got that off so that would have came out of the side here so making sure that there's no adhesive left on that strap give them a polish these beautiful strap connectors are gorgeous so they're lovely and chunky absolutely beautiful so these are what you call d-rings stitching at the front at the top here so I'll make sure this is all nice and neat and that there's no threads hanging out same with the side seams checking all of that making sure there's no little marks or anything there 
beautiful all looks good even with these straps down here and the decorative elements i've edge coated that so i've painted those there so that it all blends in so yeah that's the two pieces of leather joined together you can't even tell that they're joined together just beautifully finished off stitching checking the stitching here checking now that there's no marks on the back so this is the back of the bag i've followed through with the same rivets coming through here as well and then we've got a magnetic slip pocket through there and then that's the lining fabric and the leather goes all the way through i've even conditioned that leather there made sure there's no markings and that just snaps in place and it's plenty big enough you can fit your phone and that in there so and that'll just close down there no marks, no pen marks or anything on there. Everything's lovely and shiny. Making sure that you're all polished up. Make sure there's no adhesive or anything on these strap ends. If there is any adhesive that gets attached to there, it just sort of scrapes off. It all looks good. Checking those seams. So one more look around. We're back to the front. Now I'll check the bottom. Make sure there's no stitching like threads or anything sticking out. I've seen a little crease. Uh, I even fussy cut the bottom of the bag so that this sort of line here comes through the center there. I think it looks beautiful. So she's got lovely metal bag feet. <laughs> Love the feet. Everything there looks beautiful. Really, really happy with that. So very, very happy with the exterior of this bag. Now we'll have a look at the top so at the top we've got a zip closure so and we've got the antique brass all coordinating with the other hardware oh I love that sound <laughs> and then with the zip there's also a metal zipper pull on the end so you can leave that out if you wanted to and so i'll just make sure because this is not only adhered in but it's also screwed in. Oh, talk about screwed in. I got myself a new toy. How's this? It's a precise electric screwdriver. And it even has a light. <laughs> Forward and reverse light. And I used this for the first time on this bag. And it's a US, USB charged. And it comes with heaps of attachments. I've got the box here. So that's the screwdriver that I got. And that's all the attachments that it came with. And it also has a magnetising tool and a demagnetizer. Oh, just loved it. Absolutely loved it. So the little pieces, they just pop in, pop out. Put it back in my little kit there. And I can put it away for next time. It's all fully charged because I charged it up to full before I started it. Love it. <laughs> Normally I'd sit there with a little tiny little screwdriver and um, manually screw those in. So they've all been done with the drill. So that all looks good. The zipper pull looks good. Zipper looks beautiful. Use the black zipper tape. Oh, I love that sound. Then inside here, we've got a overlay for the zipper pocket here. I didn't edge coat this leather here. I could have done, but I chose not to. I thought about it, and I just thought, just with the lining, 
and it's all light coloured and everything and I wanted to be able to see the leather so I didn't end up edge coating that one and then I've also put my branding on this panel here and then you open up this pocket there's our pocket there and it's just plain so that it coordinates with the lining of the bag I love it no loose little threads or anything tucked in there. All the seams are all neat, so there's no exposed zipper tape or anything in there. All beautiful and neat. And then my customer wanted a um, key fob, so I used a piece of the leather and then I've adhered it together, so it, it's not going to come apart. It's permanent, like if you see the leather. And then I've edge coated it as well because it'll come out like that. And then I put a little clip on there. A lot of times you'll see them, they'll just have a little D ring on there. But this one I put the little brass clip and it's got a little rivet here. A little bit of a decorative trim there. And I've also put a rivet on here so that it's extra secure in there. And it's in the lining and then it's got a backing on it and that there so it can't come out. I didn't want to stitch it into this seam here because it would add a bump on this side of the bag from where that is so I've just got it tucked up in underneath there so no one's ever going to see it only like my customer who she lifts up the zipper tape but how often do you do that <laughs> and then on this side here we've got two big slip pockets I can see a little thread just sitting in there can I get it? It's just a loose little thread. Where is it? I felt it. I had it in my hand. Here it is. So these are the little details that I look for. So there's a little thread there. I can take that out. So, so yeah. So I always put my hands now in the pockets. Because I can feel a thread, like I'll feel any of the little loose bits there. Then on the either side, these are padded pockets. So you can easily slip a glasses case in there. I'll just go and grab my glasses case here. I've got my bag sitting here as well. So I've got a reading glasses case and a sunglasses case. So when I designed this bag, I designed it like for myself. So they just slot in. So that's my big glasses case. And then my reading glasses. So they just sit in the sides there like that. And you can also just have your um, glasses in there without the case. So these are one of my sunglasses here. So I can just pop that straight in there and it's the height to protect my glasses. So they're safe and secure in there. I could turn them around this way if I wanted to. <laughs> Love these glasses. They're prescription sunglasses. How gorgeous is that? <laughs> it's got an animal print detail in there. It's just subtle, but oh, I love them. Ah, uh, so yeah, getting distracted there now. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just put these in my reading glasses case because they will fit in there. They're not quite right size. But yeah, these you can fit. Like often when my hubby and I go out, he'll give me his wallet and his keys. So I allocate him a pocket and then I have a pocket. <laughs> so he knows if he needs his wallet or something like that. He can just grab it out of there, although he never goes to my bag. He just doesn't like going into my bag. Also, with the key fob, I put it on this side of the bag. So, if you've got your bag closed and you just want to quickly just grab your keys, you can just grab them there like that and it's just sitting straight there. You don't have to open up your whole bag. And the length that I've got that... By the time you've got your keys on there, they would be just sort of the weight of the keys would be just sitting in that corner there. Oh, I love that 
down. And if you don't like that sticking out, you just can tuck it in. The reason for the little tail there is it gives you a nice big opening. It allows you to open that bag right up so you've got full access to the whole bag. There's no restriction in there. Oh, I hope my customer loves it. it was, it's been an absolute pleasure sewing this bag. Truly love it. I've got another project to, to make out of this leather for my customer. It's not just beautiful. I can't help but keep looking at it. I think when you put so much time and effort and just fuss and that like here talk about fuss I've even fussy cut this zipper pocket so that this panel of leather here marries up with this center seam like you'll see like it's not like a seam but it's like a pattern imprint so I fussy cut the leather so that it marries up to that leather at the back there like, it, it does use up a little bit extra leather, but I just thought it was totally worth doing it. So it's little details like that that I love doing. I just love it. I even tried to make sure that the, the size of this sort of colouring here married up with that colouring there. So it's the same on both sides. Absolutely beautiful. I can't help but keep looking at it now that it's finished. You don't have to do the zipper up. Quite often on my bag, like this one here, I rarely do my zip up. It's only sort of if I'm going sort of somewhere where I feel like for safety purposes or if I'm going somewhere and my bag could tip over or something like that and I've got to be in there, I don't want anything to fall out. But nine times out of ten, my phone is usually, for quick access, if I'm out and about, my phone will usually sit in here. It's secure. It can't fall out. Uh, and other times I might just slide it in to that pocket there. I think the lining really does. It looks gorgeous. The whole everything just looks beautiful. I edge coated like my logo plate here as well. I can just see a little bit of adhesive there. I'm just going to pop it in there. sort of from every angle looks good I think it's ready for my customer but um yeah so there's still more for this this bag to go but the actual handbag is finished so there you go <laughs> I just love it. How beautiful. It's so classy. <laughs> I never want to let them go. I'd love to be able to have all of these handbags. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not dressed very well for a video for today, but hello. <laughs> so proud of this bag. Well, I think it even goes with my dress that I made. <laughs> okay, that's all from me. Bye.